Dog with Travis Darno. We got fan questions here, and we're uh, we're out on the road with New Hampshire Fisher Cats. And uh, Rob wants to know, how do you feel about the depth at catcher in the organization? Um, our, the catchers in in the Blue Jay organization is you know unbelievable. The best catching organization I've been in, you know. And uh, shoot, you look at every level. We have top prospects. We got Triple A. You got Jerolman. Here you got me and Jan, you know, higher you got Jimenez, lower you got Perez, even the GCL you got Nessie. I mean, it's just unreal how good a catching prospects that the Blue Jays have. I mean, you know, we're all really good defense catchers and we all can hit really well too. So, you know, over the next few years, who knows what will happen as we all progress. progress. So speaking of uh, the next few years, another question was where do you see yourself in five? Uh, you know, in five, shoot, hopefully in the big leagues. You know, hopefully with the Jays. You know, if not with the Jays, hopefully with somebody else. But you know, we got a we got a mascot here to distract her. That's all right. Uh, April wants to know, Travis. Uh, did you play any other sports as a kid, and what and what did you excel at? Um, as a kid, I played golf. <laughs> I played golf. I played uh, flag football. Yeah. I played. Some basketball with some friends, some fl uh, tackle football with friends. Um, I played. Well, that's that's pretty much it, you know. Okay. Mostly baseball, you know. Sounds like a good collection of activities. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are your best skills off the field? Uh, off the field, let's see. Um, I'm really good at driving cross country. <laughs> I've done that multiple times. Right. Um, I like playing golf still. It's okay. still one of my favorite hobbies to do. Uh, I can uh, I can play the piano a little bit. Um, uh, what else? I'm pretty good at basketball now too. Now that I've you know watched the NBA, learned some dribbling moves and okay. stuff like that from some friends. Um, I can almost dunk. I'm still still not quite there yet. Okay. I'm getting there. Hopefully within the next few years I'll be able to. But all right, cool. Somebody else asked uh, your, with your brother promoted to Major League Baseball now. Um, you know, are, are you jealous, and, and have you seen him on TV? No, I'm not jealous at all. I'm I'm real excited for him. You know, even when he was called up, I felt like a part of me got called up too. You know, because it's my brother. And uh, have you gotten to watch him on TV any games not, yet with Pirates? Not in the game, but you know, on highlights, it's just so crazy just seeing him on there now, mixed in with people like you know, Euclid, Poppy, when they played the Red Sox. Yeah. It was I, it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. Uh, Ian or Ian. Uh, would like to know who's your favorite pitcher uh, that you've caught. Um, well, I've caught a lot of the uh, people with the Phillies and the Jays, uh, but Kyle Drabeck, you know, I'm real good friends with him um, on and off the field. And whenever I catch him, you know, it seems like you know our bullpens are just so easy. You know, it's just you know easy and fun because I'd mess around with him, he messes around with me and stuff like that. So does that does that go back to the rapport with him? Like you guys. Uh, Probably uh, you know worked together a little bit in the Philly system before you left. Yeah, yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah, we worked together in the Philly system. He said he he always liked going to me over there. So now when I'm over here, like I said, we just mess around with each other and try to have as much fun as possible. Joanna asked, "What player do you admire the most?" On which on the J anywhere? anywhere, maybe somebody you looked up to even growing up. Uh, probably Pudge. You know. Especially being a young catcher growing up, knowing all the success he's had as a catcher, you know, I've tried to watch him, watch all his, uh, um, I don't know the word for it, but trying to watch all his, like, whatever he does, I try to do it. Like, okay. I, I heard he's a hard worker, you know, so I'm, you know, trying to be a hard worker, you know, learn the game, learn how to, you know, handle pitching staff, stuff like that. And also he's a great hitter, too, so, you know, that's who I'm trying to be like, is Pudge. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I know you went to uh, Toronto for a preseason function or an off-season function. What do you What did you like about Toronto? What do you kn You know, what do you know about the area? Uh, Toronto's a great city. Um, it's like a downtown. You it's your first time there, right? Oh, uh, I went there right before high school too. Oh, okay. I went there for like three days for some pre-draft workout too. But um, Toronto City was great. You know, they had everything you could ever imagine. You know, dinner places, lunch places. You know nice uh, sightseeing like the CN Tower that was the CN Tower mm -hmm. um, yeah my dad was there the first time and we went there we went to the lake you know saw the lake um, and then the field you know the field I love the field because it's a launching pad 
Yeah. Now, have you been able to interact with any fans up there at all? Uh, not really. Not too much. Looking forward to it, though, yeah, of course, right? Yeah, really looking forward to okay. it. Okay, so let me ask, um, how do you feel about the organization uh, as far as the way they're moving you along in your progress? Um, I feel fine how they're moving me along. You know, I, I'm trying not to think about getting called up. Um, JP here in CBA, you know, had to talk with me about it because when he was here and when he was in AAA, all he was thinking about was, you know, that call up. So he advised me to just, you know, worry about what's going on now and just keep playing. But I feel like I'm getting, you know, moved at the right pace, I guess you could say. Um, still young, still, you know, double A, still, there's still a lot to learn about the game that I don't know about. So. No, I'm so excited to be in Delaware. Then I'll throw one bonus one on the pile here of fan questions here. Uh, I want to ask you, you're out here today, uh, it's Wednesday when we're, when we're recording this prior to the game. Uh, Phil Hughes is rehabbing with the Trenton Thunder this afternoon against you guys with New Hampshire. Does the team or do you personally get amped or get up more when, when you're facing a guy like that, knowing that, hey, this is, the, this is the stuff I'm ultimately trying to get to to face guys like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, feel like I'm in a different zone right now mentally, you know, getting prepared to face a big league guy. Um, but like, I, like I've said to everybody, you know, it's still the same game. You know, he's still got to come to me. He's still got to throw strikes to me. And, you know, I can't, you know, get out of my comfort zone and chase pitches. Otherwise, you know, he's going to beat me every time. So now, I, you know, I'm, now I'm really focused. Now today in the cage, I'm really going to focus in on my zone and making sure I only swing at pitches to hit. So, you know, so the... So our battle, I guess you could say, seems fair, you know, so I don't chase all his stuff. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. All right, that's all I got for you, Travis. Thank you so much for all taking right. the time. Thank you, guys.